up the annual showdown with Nebraska in a game that produced one of the most dramatic finishes of the year in college football. I was great, I mean, especially that, you know, they were number four team in the country and we were coming off a, of, you know, not so lackluster performance of, you know, a week, couple weeks before that and people counted us out saying, there's no way these guys can hang with Nebraska, you know, they're, they're going to roll all over them and we were able to come out there and, and, and win that game, which is great, but not for me, but also for the seniors. Trailing seven to nothing, the Wildcats got on the board midway through the first quarter. Thanks to this diving catch on third down and 10 by Quincy Morgan. Back to throw Jonathan, looking downfield. Set throws, guns the ball downfield, looking for Morgan. Dives, makes a catch inside the 10. Down at the Nebraska seven yard line. Morgan laid it out that time to pull it in. And for Quincy, his 48th catch of the year. Hand it to the offensive line, Greg. The offensive line had perfect coverage there and allowed Beasley to sit in the pocket and throw deep down the field in a man-to-man -man coverage situation and sure enough out in front was Quincy Morgan it wasn't an easy catch he had to lay out and catch it but he did at the Nebraska seven yard line second and goal from the one Beasley under center eye formation play clock at four you do not want to delay a game here play clock at two they just get it off run the option Beasley keeps it now makes a bad pitch Scobie picks it up goes in touchdown case is within a point the errant pitch Bounced right back up to Scobie, who went in untouched, and Josh Scobie scores, and K-State's on the board. Nebraska answered right back and led 14-7 after the first quarter, before the Cats responded with 10 unanswered points in the second quarter, including this 49-yard strike from Beasley to Morgan. Randall Cummins snaps it back to Beasley. Blitz, throws a screen out to Morgan, slips a tackle to 40. Morgan, 35, 30, Morgan, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, Touchdown, and Kansas State for the first time tonight has the lead in this game. This 45-yard run by Dan Alexander capped a 74-yard drive of the Huskers, and the Cats found themselves down by five with just over six minutes left to play. We knew that, you know, this is probably going to be we're gonna get one more chance after this, but, you know, we're just like, hey, fellas, let's just buckle down, let's go out there and do what we've been doing all year, you know. you got offensive line, you guys block, and everyone else will, will do the rest, and, you know, we're fortunate enough to come out with a victory on that day. Rock Cartwright opened the drive with this 13-yard run that put the ball in Nebraska territory. Later in the drive, Beasley would scramble for a key first down on this 15-yard run, and the Cats found themselves with the second and goal at the Nebraska 12 with less than three minutes left to play. 3.08, clock moving, left of the game, 28-23 Huskers. Beasley in a shotgun, twins to the far side, Morgan to the near side. Snap it back. Beasley holds, looks, throws over the middle, pass, caught Morgan at the five. Quincy Morgan, touchdown! Kansas State and the Wildcats take the lead. 2.52 left in the game. Great execution by K-State. Nice shotgun snap by Randall Cummins. Great blocking up front. Quincy Morgan lined up on the right side, ran across to the left side of the field. The ball was delivered right in stride at the five-yard line. And he took it over toward the left side of the field for a K-State touchdown. K-State goes up 29-28 on Quincy Morgan's 12-yard touchdown reception. Well, earlier in the game, um, when I was coming this way on the end zone, uh, I threw one to, to Aaron, and I, I didn't wasn't patient in my read, and Quincy came open, and, and I, I got on the phone, and Coach Hutt said, man, the next time we run, just wait for Quincy, and he'll get open. And we called in our trips, and we ran a, a hook and a cross and a flat, and, and I didn't even look at anyone else. I just waved for Quincy. I just stared at him the whole way, and he came open again. And I just threw it to him, and he scored, and it was just a great feeling. K-State's two-point attempt was incomplete, and Nebraska had one final opportunity with a drive that began at their own 22-yard line. The Wildcat defense was up to the challenge on fourth down at the Nebraska 43, Dyshawn Carter sealed the Huskers' fate. Davis into the near side, Crouch under center. Put Newcomb in motion, fake the handoff, back to throw his Crouch, set, throws the ball down, middle pass, is incomplete, knocked away from Matt Davison by Dyshawn Carter, the senior on senior day, makes the play for Kansas State, and Nebraska turns the ball over on downs to Kansas State, and they only have one timeout left. Uh, the play before, they ran the same play just from the other half. And uh, Matt Davidson ran across the middle and we were slipping. And I knew he, I knew he thought he had, he thought he was open. So I seen him go to his coach. And I said they're gonna run the same play, just the opposite way. And they did that. And, uh, and I stepped back. To, I, I gave myself a lot of room because I didn't want to, I didn't want to fall to slip. If, if he caught the ball, he's gonna tackle him. Uh, but I seen him make his break, and I seen the ball in the air. I just broke on it with all I had, and, and just broke it up and, and, and wrapped him up and took him to the ground. And uh, I had to look around for any pass interference call. But once I didn't see no pass interference call on the ground, 
I just jumped for joy because it's my last game at home. I just wanted to make something happen. This game is over. Some said K-State wouldn't beat Nebraska for another 30 years. Well, Bill Snyder and these caps have proven them wrong today, and K-State now is within one game of winning the Big 12 North for the second time in the last three years. And it is party time. They're sledding all over KSU Stadium. K-State beats Nebraska tonight, 29-28.